Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very interactive chess game by Magnus Carlsen, a game from 2002 when Carlsen was 11 years old. A, a chess game from Norway. So let's see what happened. Magnus Carlsen had the white pieces and his opponent was Thor Gulbredsen who had the black pieces. Uh, Magnus Carlsen was almost 2200 by the way at this time and his opponent was close to 2000, he was 1900. So Carlsen starts the game with e4, e6 and we have the French defense. Knight to d2, knight to f6 and this is the Tarash variation, closed variation of the Tarash French. So knight from g to f3, c5, c3, knight to c6, bishop to d3, queen to b6, and Carlsen castled. Well, this is known as a, the Korchnoi non gambit. So basically, Magnus Carlsen is sacrificing to the pawn, and then knight takes on d4, knight takes, queen takes on d4, and black accepted the gambit. But as you can see, Magnus Carlsen has the activity knight to f3, defending the queen, and white has pretty active pieces, queen to a4. And black is a pawn up, so black is offering to exchange the queens. Rejecting to offer queen to c2, insisting queen to c5. But uh, actually, uh, of course, white is a pawn down, so it doesn't make any sense if exchanging the queens. Carlsen is stubborn about not exchanging the queens. He played queen to e2. Bishop to e7, a very natural move, developing the bishop, and it is white to move. What would you do in this position? Well, of course, developing the bishop with a tempo, bishop to e3, and we can say that for a sacrifice pawn, uh, white is doing very well, more than okay, actually. Uh, white is very, very strong in this position. So after defending the queen, you can see that this bishop on c8 is a problem. How to develop this bishop? It looks like black is lacking behind in the development, and all of the white pieces are active. The rooks are connect. The rooks are connected, and also uh, black haven castled, of course. So Carlsen played bishop to g5 in this position. And actually, exchanging the bishops was the strongest move in this position for black. That was the best move, but we have queen to d8 for some reason. Uh, and then queen to e3. And simply bishop takes on g5. Knight takes on g5. And black has to be careful in this position. You can't give the boot to the knight. If pushing the h-pawn, that is basically going to make a blunder. Can you see why? Well, black played queen to e7. E, if castling, of course, the h-pawn is going to fall. E, queen to e7. Can you see what happens if h6? And can you see why black played queen to e7? It is white to move. And win, basically. White has a winning move in this position. Well, that is knight takes on e6, double exclamation point, double exclam. So, did you see this move? If capturing the knight, then the light squares are looking extremely weak. Bishop to g6, king to e7, and then check on e defense, and black is getting checkmated. So, after knight takes on e6, Capturing, checking, if king to f8, then this is also not very good because of check, knight to f6, and the knight is pinned and white is getting back the compensation with an attack. So this is looking very dangerous for black. So okay, in the real chess game, bishop takes on g5, knight takes on g5, queen to e7, defending, knight takes on e6, and it is white to move. Where Carlsen played in this position a very crafty move, a foxy move, he played rook from a to c1. Don't forget that he was only 11 years old, but his moves are just simply stunningly beautiful. 
and it's very impressive for an 11 years old kid, of course. He was a chess prodigy. So Black now pushed the pawn and this was actually losing. Uh, this was a losing move. Can you see why this move is actually a losing move? So if I give you a few seconds, can you guess the next move for white? If you want, you can also pause the video and try to guess the next move for white. Uh, have a good look at this position. Just be careful. Uh, just look very carefully if you haven't seen the move. But if you want, you can also pause the video and try to guess the move. There is no need to rush. There is no need to hurry. Okay, so Magnus Carlsen actually didn't move the knight. He picked his queen and he played. Look at this move. Queen takes on a7. Did you see this move? Boom. And not capturing the queen, defending the rook, rook to b8. And let's see what happens if capturing the queen, if rook takes on a7, then it is very simple. Capturing the bishop, only defense, capturing the queen, capturing the rook, capturing the pawn, forking the king and the rook. And white is a piece up in a winning position. Impressive. So, of course, Carlsen didn't miss this tactic. Queen takes on a7 and not capturing the queen, defending the rook. And maybe right now, defending the knight comes to mind. It is a tempting move. What would you do in this position? Again, if you had the white pieces. Well, Magnus Carlsen sacrificed the queen. Queen takes on b8. What a shot. Beautiful. Knight takes, what else? The bishop is under attack, so rook takes on c8, escaping, but then capturing the rook, rook takes on h8. And also attacking the knight, so defending the knight, and Carlsen is also defending the knight. And basically in this position, black is in big trouble because white has two rooks plus the bishop for the queen. And that's advantage for white. So the game continued, f6, pinning the knight and simplifying the game. And then capturing the pawn, king to d6, defending the knight. And it is black to move. Well, in this position, white has some tactics, such as rook to d8. If queen takes rook, then knight to f7. So if some random move, then we can check. And this is a possibility. So knight takes on e5, king to d6, rook to e1, king to c7. This is why escaping, because of rook to d8. And obviously in this position, uh, after rook to d8, if king goes down, then we are chasing the king. And it looks extremely dangerous, of course. So king to c7, and g5, uh, g3, queen to b4. Defending the rook. It's a matter of technique from now on, of course. White has two rooks plus the knight for the queen. And this is a winning advantage for white. But white has to be careful, of course. d4. Rook to d8 by Magnus Carlsen. What a move. We have queen to b5. And in this position, if capturing the rook, this is not very good. Because of this is forking the king and the queen. And this is just simply game over. So you can touch the rook, but in this position, a tricky move, queen to b5. Uh, what would you do? Both of the rooks is under attack. Of course, rook to d7 by Magnus Carlsen. After king to c8, rook to e4, defending the rook and the knight. So... In this position, actually, it looks like Magnus Carlsen is threatening to take the pawn. Uh, and then also the c pawn is going to fall. So capturing the d pawn with the, with the d rook. And also knight takes is possible because if queen takes rook over, pinning the queen and game over. So something like that. So because of that, maybe a black made a bad blunder. c5 and this was, well, putting the final nail on the coffin. <laughs> uh, so Magnus Carlsen played the move and black is in big trouble uh, in this position actually uh, pushing the g-pawn 
G5 would be better, but anyway, it was still losing, so C5, Carlsen played, Rook to F4, and Black resigned. Well, sorry, Black, Black didn't resign, he, he actually played a suicidal move. Queen takes on d7 for defending the checkmate threat, so in this position, if some random nonsense move, then checkmate. So after rook to f4, he played queen takes on d7, but it doesn't make any sense. And after this move, king takes on d7, black resigned <laughs> against the 11 years old Magnus Carlsen. Of course, white has the rook, and funny enough, black, the player with the black pieces, was 42 years old. <laughs> funny sight. Uh, it must be a funny sight. <laughs> Uh, well, Magnus, Carl of course, Black should not feel bad about himself, as Magnus Carlsen is one of the greatest chess players of all times, of course, and he was a chess prodigy. So, what do you think about this chess game? Did you see the queen sacrifice? And I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games. So, stay safe, take care, and bye bye.